Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to come on here and talk about that video that I posted to my Instagram. We all here for bro, or it's your anniversary. In Miami, we lit. The number one thing a man that is truly masculine hates, the number one thing, the number one thing he hates is feeling like he's being forced to do something that he does not want to do. So when we look at Caesar in this video, oh my God, like his, his whole just aura energy was just, he was confused. He felt embarrassed. He was, he felt emasculated. He felt um, belittled. And see, the problem is a lot of women feel like they can do to men how they want to be done in return. And you cannot do that. Men don't like that. We all here for bro, or it's your anniversary. In Miami, we lit. A lot of women listen to their girlfriends. That's the worst person you could listen to. If you want some advice, you go to a man that you respect. You don't just go to some random man. You go to a man you respect. But when you look at... <clears throat> she proposed to him in the way that she wanted to be proposed to. That's what she wanted. That's not what he wanted. <laughs> he did not want that. <sighs> Y'all gotta stop doing that. Y'all gotta stop doing that. Y'all can't keep going around treating these men how you want to be treated. What you should do is you need to ditch him. If he not doing what you want him to do, if he is not treating you in the way that you want to be treated, stop forcing him to do it. Just go meet somebody else. Just drop him. That's what I do. Listen, I, I don't, you can't force a man to do anything. You can influence him, influence, but you cannot force him to do anything. You can't force him to do anything. And a lot of women feel like they can because they be listening to these feminists. Stop listening to these, stop listening to women. Go, go to a man that you truly respect. Go to a man that you truly respect. Stop listening to these women because it's, it's not looking too good. It's not looking too good. Um, if you want to make a statement, please 
please send me a statement in the question box because sometimes I'll be missing people's comment. But you, you, we have the reason it, it's just so backwards and it's causing dysfunction. Like even as men and women, we can't even function properly because we have reversed roles and it just looks crazy now like it looks absolutely insane that man was not happy <laughs> I, don't care, I don't care what nobody say that man was not happy do you hear me that man was not happy how long you think she got before she gone before she gets dumped and this is no shade this is just real talk if you can't handle it this is not the page for you okay how long do you think she got because the number one thing the number one thing a, ha a man hates is being feeling like he is being forced to do something that he does not want to do. They do not like feeling like they feel like they're suffocating or like you're his mother. You're forcing him to do something that he does not want to do. So how long y'all think she got? It don't matter. Promise ring, proposal, engage. It don't matter. Men do not like feeling like they're pressuring. You're pressuring them to do something. Your best bet as a woman is to walk away, not put pressure on him to do something that he don't want to do. Two weeks. <laughs> That's why I said. <laughs> summertime. Summertime. Yeah, summertime. That, yep. Listen. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying. Wait. Um, she just need a, she just needed to communicate with him. If she did and he wasn't ready, she should have moved on. Exactly. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Anytime a man, you, he gives you that energy of no type of reassurance. You need to walk. What are you staying for? For what? Listen, this is why I always say love ain't enough. Sometimes love is just not enough. And when it comes to situations like this, if he didn't want to step up, and, and and do right by her on her time on her time and the reason why i say on her time is because as women biology that's something that we're up against it's nature and you cannot change that so because of that because of that as a woman if he's not going at the pace that you need him to go you need to walk what what you stand for you're doing more you're doing more harm to yourself than good and that's just the reality she should if she communicated and he still wasn't going for it love ain't enough sis it's just not all of the all of the women in my family are bitter and there's no real man figure in my life and i'm learning all of this on my own i am sorry to hear that i don't know why but instagram cut off the remainder of your um message but I can I love I don't know what else, I don't know what else it was kind of it was trying to say I'm sorry but um you just you guys you you gotta you gotta you gotta take in the male's perspective because if you don't we're gonna continue to see women propose give promise rings to men when they don't like that and if you actually talk to men and and not come in trying to be argumentative they will tell you straight up they don't like that <laughs> they don't they, they they don't find that to be attractive they find that to be belittling uh if and this is only if he's a masculine man if he's not masculine then you most likely are dealing with a feminine man and he's probably okay with that he wants to be dominated by you he wants you to pay all of his bills he wants to drive your car and he wants to stay at your house just saying <laughs> she could have discussed it with him before no you know who she was talking to and this is what I can't stand either. If you're in a relationship, listen, communication needs to be on 10. It needs to be on the same level as your girlfriend. If it's not, then you don't have a relationship. Not a good one. She was too busy talking to her girlfriends when she should have been talking to him. Because her girlfriends was hyping her up like, yeah, sis, da 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 da, -da. And then sometimes your girlfriends are so jealous that they don't want to see you out here really winning. So they're going to set you up to do something that you know this man would not be interested in. <laughs> but she gonna set you up because she don't really want to see you win so she's gonna self-sabotage or sabotage your relationship with this man because she really don't want to see you happy
I would never do my friends like that, period. I want all my friends to win, even if it means they're doing better than me, period. Don't care what it is. So stop talking to your girlfriend so much. Like, you need to go find a male figure that you respect to give you some good advice. And it just needs to be a male figure that you respect. I bought a man a gift and gave him so much energy and he did not like me at all. Mm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and actually like the girl who ignored oh my gosh listen ladies we know all about this okay like let's take it back okay this is nature this is why i say it's nature because when we were younger we didn't know any of this stuff we weren't even aware of this stuff right so let's take it back to when we were kids in elementary school playing on the playground and this guy he would be mean to us because, you know, we really didn't give him the time nor the day. We weren't really interested. So he would be mean to us in return, but he really wanted us. You know what I mean? He really likes us low key, but he was never going to admit that because we didn't really show any interest. But nature is this. When you don't give a man the attention, he is going to chase you, hun. When you give him all your attention, you make yourself available. He ain't chasing you because you there. Create some space. Because there was a comment earlier, someone, <clears throat> but I'm going to be saving it for my live that I do with Mademoiselle. There was this girl that was saying, well, how do you keep a man's attention? You focus on yourself. <laughs> you're not, you're not checking his, you're not checking his Snapchat. You're not checking his Instagram. You're not calling him, texting him all hours of the day. You focusing on yourself. That's how you do it. You don't pay him no mind. The same thing that you did when you was on that playground, sis. The same thing that you was doing on that playground. You was not giving whoever that little boy was the time or the day, but he he chased you. He probably even got you a little Valentine's Day um um card. I'm sure you got that. So listen, it's the same thing. It's just now that we're older, we have taken in these ideologies that do not benefit us. And I'm not going to speak on what community that is. And we think that we can, you know, use it to our advantage. And it's not. It's working against us. Thanks for being my good virtual big sis. Thank you. You're welcome. That is so sweet. I never had a sister. So I'm glad I could be something to you that I didn't have for myself. Don't know why some women believe they can change. I don't get it either. I, I just. <laughs> Listen, I got two brothers. Two. Okay. Two of them. They're both different. Both. I cannot talk to them the same way that I talk to my girlfriends. Uh, we talked about this. I, and I understand not everyone has a father. Figure, father, uncle, brother. You should at least have a male friend, someone, someone, a, a male cousin, somebody you could talk to, a man that you respect, though. You can't talk to them the same way that you talk to your girlfriends. Like, you just can't do that. It's not beneficial. Oh. Amanda said, Amanda from my last live, she said, hey, boo, he went along because of the cameras. Facts, but if the cameras were not on him, whoo, mm, he was not happy. He was he was not happy at all. Your hair and skin, sorry, I know it's not a question. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Thank you. Well, uh, hold on. I got another statement here. She could not read the room. Oof. And that's another thing, ladies. <laughs> you got to learn how to read the room. You got to learn how to read it. How do you read it? You have to, you got to get in touch with your femininity. Your femininity is attached to your intuition. Your femininity is your energy. Your femininity is the power that you have as a woman. We talked about this. <laughs> when you are more in your masculine, you're neglecting your power as a woman. I said what I said. You're, you're, you're neglecting your vision. You're neglecting your creativity. You're neglecting your senses. You're neglecting your beauty. You're neglecting it. And you tired. Because I know I was trying to be that strong, independent woman 
BS. Tired. Do you hear me? I have bags under my... The reason why I look so young, thank God. <laughs> thank God I stopped when I did is because I... Independent woman, I don't even... Girl, I can't even relate to that no more. What is that? The only way I can relate to it is by being self-sufficient. But, yeah, I'm self-sufficient. That's it. But independent woman, I don't need no man. Uh, Yeah, that's ghetto. It's very, very ghetto. You know why? Because you do everything on your own. You don't have nobody helping you. Everything is on you. That's ghetto. Why don't you want assistance? That is so ghetto. So, no. That's ghetto. It's old. It's tired. It's through. It's through. Do you hear me? It's through. So, I'm not the independent woman. I'm self-sufficient. I will get what I need to get done because that's what I need to get done. But that independent woman, I only... <laughs> Not for me. It's just not for me. If it's for you, it's for you. But listen, sis, I'm not too proud to say I want some assistance. I'm not too proud to say I want a good man in my life. I'm not too proud for that because there are benefits, sis. And it requires you to do less work. So if you want to be strong, independent, girl, you got my support. But that's all you got because I'm not joining you. I'm not locking arms with you. I'm sorry. I, I, you know what? I'm going to lock arms with a man. Because you know why? Less work. Shoot, if I'm standing next to you being the strong, independent woman, girl, I got to do the same amount of work you're doing. Now, that don't make no sense. <laughs> Miss me with that. We moving on. Um, now we all suffer from second... Oh, my God. Yeah, I was suffering from secondhand embarrassment when I watched that video. I said, oh, my God, can she not feel like I would have instantly. This is how you know she's neglecting her femininity. I instantly picked up on his energy. I'm like, oh, my God, he don't like that. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh, my God, he don't really like that. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> instantly. You got to tap into your femininity. You do. So you can get your your senses will be heightened. Your intuition will be heightened. Your power as a woman will be heightened. Your confidence will be heightened. Everything about your whole existence will be heightened. Your identity will be defined. I can't tell you what that is because, again, we're individuals. So when you tap into your femininity, your identity is yours. Mine is mine. And other women that tap in, that's their identity. That's who they are. But when it comes down to the core and the benefits of being a feminine woman, um, there are benefits. And being in tune with your intuition, tapping into your senses, being able to read people and pick up on people's energies is one of them, for sure. I remember when I was so, listen, you know, this is another thing, just a little tip. You know you are so deep in your masculine and you're neglecting your femininity when you cannot even tell when a man likes you. If you cannot tell when men or boys like you, you're too masculine. Mm-hmm. I said it. What did I miss? What are we talking about? We're talking about the um, Caesar Black Ink video that I just posted to my Instagram on my page. If you want to go look and then come back. Uh, I, I, don't, I, are you, I don't know. Uh, yeah, girl. I don't know about that. Did he say no? I mean, his, his, he may not have said no, but his energy said enough. <laughs> he may not have said no, but that energy read that I picked up on, it was enough. It was a, it was a hell. Are you out your mind? No, that's what I got. Men always say I'm Miss Independent, but I never say I don't need a man or help. I think men say that to let you know they ain't going to do ish for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're dealing with a Dusty. When a Dusty praises you for being an independent woman, you're dealing with a Dusty. I mean, when a man praises you for being an independent woman, you're dealing with a Dusty. He sees you as an opportunity, and he wants to take advantage, and he's trying to level up off of your hard work. I said what I said. When they make that um, a big deal, listen, a man of quality, a man that has his own, is you being an independent woman don't benefit him. <laughs> Your your degrees, your accomplishments, yours. You hear me saying your, 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 your. That don't benefit no man that got stuff going on for himself. 
nothing. It doesn't. It doesn't benefit him. So you know, you're dealing with a dusty when he keeps bringing that up. Oh, you're an independent woman. You're a strong woman. He trying to live with you, sis. Don't be surprised when he try to move in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Girl, he trying to move in, honey. He trying to drive your car. He trying to ask you for some money. Um, what else he want? He want a home cooked meal. He wants you to give him some top after you get off work. Them them work eight twelve hours, and he been at home all day. That's what he want. Listen, that's a red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Hold on, I'm gonna go down. <laughs> I'm sure. That is hilarious. And then you think he be telling his friends, yeah, I got me a strong independent woman. No, he ain't telling his friends that. He only say that to you because he wants you to work harder so he can use you more. <laughs> Men are not proud of that. They're not about to go brag to their friends. Yeah, I got me a strong independent woman. You think they be talking to her like that? No. You know what they be talking about? Yeah, I got her to do this. I got her to do this. Yeah, did you, yeah she gave me some money the other day. And they may not even say, oh, she gave me some money. They may say, yeah, I just got these new shoes. With show money, sis, bragging to their friends about it. With show money, sis, couldn't be me. Listen, y'all better ditch that, that strong, independent woman because all it do is attract these dusty men that don't want to work, that don't want to hold no job, that don't want to take care of their kids. That They don't want to do nothing. They just want to sit up under you all day and suck up your, your, your heat, your air conditioning, whatever the case, wherever you live. That's all they want to do. You're like a second mom to them. They don't got to do nothing because they know they got a strong, independent woman and she going to take care of everything. Hey Yanni, I watched all of your videos and love your channel. DM you today for some. Why does it keep why does Instagram keep cutting you guys off? I don't know why it keeps cutting you guys off, but all I got was to some. Are you guys able to see that? It just cuts off completely. And then other ones it comes in fully. Come on, Instagram. I need y'all to fix that now. That is ridiculous. Yes, I am still offering mentoring. Of course, always. It's always available one on one. Because I like to get personal. I like to get personal. I like not to get in your business. I like to get personable because I feel like that's the best way that I could truly help you in your life. I don't like giving y'all guidelines. I don't like giving y'all rules because everyone's situation is going to be different. We're all going at different paces. We're all at different levels. And this is why I don't bash women who are maybe at a lower level than I am because that's just the reality of the situation. Some of us are at lower levels. Some of us are at higher levels. So it just depends on where you are within your level of journey. And I like to get personable with you guys because then I can really zero in on your needs and what you want, your identity and everything like that. So yes, I still offer men Mentoring for sure. Thank you. Is it Caitlin? I never had a big sister, so thank you so much. Me either, so thank you. I really appreciate that. And I also didn't have a mom that taught me any of this either, you guys. So if you can relate to that, girl, I understand. <laughs> um, let me click this one. How do you low key feel about polyamory, and would you be with a provider? I, I honestly you guys I don't see a man that is dominant being in that type of relationship unless it's with two women now I'm not about to sit up here and say it doesn't exist it definitely exists but it's just gonna be harder to find because that means a man has to provide for not just only you, but the other girl that's in this equation. You know what I'm saying? And you, it's hard to get a man to just provide for one woman, one family. So when you add another woman to the equation, that's a unicorn. A man that's going to provide for you and another woman or however many people that are a part of this equation. Maybe it's two men, two women. Trying to get two provider men to agree to this. I don't know. I'm not saying it don't exist, but I'm just saying that's going to be one hell of a journey to find it. And the reason why I say that, too, is because where we are within society, 
we just have we we're hitting the tip of the iceberg when it comes to those type of relationship dynamics being normalized or being or starting to become a thing so maybe 10 years from now it would be easy but for right now that's gonna be hard it's gonna be very hard and y'all know i'm not gonna sugarcoat i'm not gonna lie about it um maybe in 10 years just like when it comes to same-sex marriages i feel like that's the future for those type of relationship dynamics men really be the gold diggers Ooh. girl they be out here thotting for some money for some new shoes for a place to stay they low-key are prostitutes they always want to be talking about us but see they always use that double standard bull crap that i can't stand they be out here whole prostitutes sleeping with women for money that's all they do sleeping for sleeping with women for a place to stay sleeping with women that they can scam couldn't be me and then women be falling for it because they be desperate i'm like sis he don't like you he don't like you and ladies if you don't want to be a desperate woman get comfortable with the fact that some men will not find you attractive and some men don't like you it's okay there's plenty of men out here who do not like me. There's plenty of men out here who don't find me attractive. Who cares? Who cares? So don't try to, you you going out here trying to prove yourself to people. They don't care. They'll use you though when they, when they sniff your energy and you come across desperate. You come across like, I need this man to make me feel worthy of being a woman. They use that and they take advantage. You're an opportunity for them. Straight off the bat. I've seen it with my own eyes. I know a girl right now. This man dogged her. Dogged her. The same man dogged me too. Okay? Let me keep it all the way a stack. He dogged me too. But we not the same type of woman. This girl following him on Instagram. I'm like, girl, why you follow? He dogged the hell out of you. I mean, dogged you. And you still following him because you, why? He dogged you, sis. But that's the difference between me and her. She's desperate. I'm not. Get the hell out of here with that. And who do you think he want more? The desperate girl that's chasing him and kissing his, you know, or a woman that's moved on with her life is focusing on what she need to focus on for herself. You do the math. Don't be that girl. Do not be that. You will play yourself. That's why I'm like, some women play themselves because they ignore the disrespect. They don't really have no standards. If she had a standard, he would be blocked. He would not be able to follow her on Instagram. Point blank period. If you have standards. But she don't got no standards. She's desperate. And it's sad. It's like get some self esteem. Get some confidence. First of all, you can do better. Let's start with that. You can do better. But you're settling because you don't feel like you deserve better. That's sad. That's really sad. This woman got a business. She And, and this is what kills me, y'all. This is what really makes me upset. These women be so successful. Bosses. But when it comes to these men, they be weak. They be weak. And I just be like, girl, how are you so strong when it comes to getting business done? You got your education. You running this business. Top, top of your game. But when it comes to these men, you allow them to dog you out. How? I, I, I just want to know. How? How is that? Because a lot of the things that you do in business, you would apply to men. Because it's a partnership. If you know how to run a business, then you know how to handle men, period. That's part of customer service. I, maybe, I, I don't know. That's part of negotiating. I mean, I, I don't get it. I just, I don't get it. It's like, it's like, it's the desperation though. That's what it has to be. It can't be nothing else but that. Hey, Yanni, there's a guy who is 28 years old who is more focused on getting in a relationship with me than getting his life together. Hey, hey. Yeah, he got to go. Okay. I'm sorry. He just got to go. Because, listen, if a man does not have his things in order, and every man knows this, I don't care what they tell you, unless they didn't have some type of father figure in their life, every man knows they need to get their ducks in a row in order to get into a relationship and be in a committed relationship because there are going to be things of him that are going to be asked of him that he needs to do in order to make the relationship work and he can't do that if he's more focused on getting in a relationship rather than getting his ducks in a row that's ridiculous 
most men that are really ready to settle down, they're really trying to get serious with someone, they're, first of all, they're trying to get their finances together, for sure. They're trying to create stability, for sure. Not only for themselves, but for a woman that they're looking to pursue. So, if he's trying to pursue you without getting his ducks in a row, <laughs> the hell is that? <laughs> what what, what y'all gonna do? Sit in the house and look at each other? So, is it Alicia? I think that's it. Alicia, sis, you could do better, okay? Don't be settling for these men. Don't be getting all hyped up because he want to be in a relationship with you. You would rather be in a relationship with a man that feels like a man, first of all. The reason why most men want to get their ducks in a row, want to create that stability, is because they want to feel like a man in their relationship. So two things with this man. Either he don't want to feel like a man in a relationship, he wants you to be the sole provider, then that's exactly what's going to happen, and that's exactly what you're signing up for. And also, when you meet a man for the first time, you got to set that tone you got to set that tone because if you don't set the tone, the standard, the boundaries up front, these men really think they can just get away with anything, walk all over you and do whatever they want to do. So, uh, and, and I get this question all the time. Well, I, I'm currently in a relationship with my boyfriend and I, I want him to be a provider. I don't want to go 50-50 no more. Well, you need to break up with him because at the end of the day, sis, you already done set the tone. You already done set the standard. And he's already equipped to your program. And one thing men don't like is being forced to do something that they're not already doing. So, if you don't set the tone in the beginning of that relationship, that commitment, that coming together, well, you played yourself. You need to move on, find somebody else and start completely over. People hate it when I say that some men don't want to change and then you're dealing with men that are grown they're set in their ways so you can bank on him not changing but you can't bank on him changing so if you want to waste your life like that go ahead and do it it's not my life to live but i'm telling you what it is if he's not already doing it he won't you can bank on that you can't bank on a man changing ever so don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your time arguing. Don't even waste your time trying to show him what you see or what you know. It don't matter. It don't matter. So that's why you have to set the tone from day one. If you don't, they're going to do whatever. They're going to do exactly what they've been doing when they met you. Whatever you allow. That's why whenever we speak on what you allow and what you tolerate, is so, it's such a big deal because a lot of times... You give this man passes in the beginning because you're trying to be nice. What you being nice for? This is your life. If he don't want to get with it, then he can get going. You know what I'm saying? It's your life. And you're not going to be happy if you back down from your standards. You're not going to be happy if you allow this man to cross your boundaries. You're not going to be happy. That's the whole purpose of boundaries is to create your happiness. Because you're holding yourself not only to these boundaries and these standards, but to the people that you decide to allow into your life. So, if you're letting people just walk all over you, do whatever, you're not going to be happy with that. Choices. It's all about choices. Wait. I think she... Wait. Yeah, you got to set that standard up front. That, like, and then, this is no shade to men, but they're very simple people, okay? And in a way, it's almost like kids. You You get them in a routine. You set the standard for them. You get them to abide by certain rules and things like that and they will stick to them they will they will if they respect you though kids that respect the parent will stick to that routine kids that respect your authority will stick to that routine the same thing with men the same thing with men they will stick to whatever program you set up in the beginning but if you don't do it from the beginning, just like any ch any child out here, if you don't set the tone in the beginning, you don't show him that you're the one in charge, they're just going to walk all over you. So you got to do it from the beginning, from day one. If you don't, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, you need to just go start all over and find somebody else, find somebody else. Um, or in, I've seen situations like this, though. I have seen situations like this with an ex that may come back right and maybe you guys were separated and you guys were able to grow separately and then you guys come back two totally new people right two totally different people two totally new people you can make it work but you got to start over and you got to set the tone day one and if they start slipping up they start acting funny ditch them move on to somebody else if that's something that you want to do 
honestly, when it comes to exes, and I mean like exes, 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 I, I don't advise that you go back. <laughs> Listen, you got multiple soulmates, sis. You got multiple soulmates in a lifetime. So just throwing that out there. You don't have to settle for the first one. They gave you some attention. Some guys that I've talked to always talk about 50-50. <laughs> oh my god and it's a big turn off like do you think it's hard to find a provider what is a in this generation yeah you just gotta find a man that's traditional you gotta find a man that's traditional but if you want tr if you want traditionalism you gotta be a traditional woman ooh ooh you think I was gonna say that Ooh, you gotta be a traditional woman. You can't be out here wanting traditionalism and not be the traditional woman. And 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 that means you can't be out here spreading it all eagle on Instagram. Y'all don't like it when I say that, but it's just the truth. You want a traditional man, you gotta carry yourself in a traditional manner. And if you're not carrying yourself in a traditional manner, you're not gonna attract a traditional man. I keep telling y'all, a lot of these sex workers that we see on Instagram, a lot of these sex workers that we see online, they're the sole providers of their relationships. They making that buku money. He ain't, he just there. <laughs> That's why I'm like, y'all get mad, y'all get mad at me. And I'm telling y'all what it is. You want a traditional man, you got to carry yourself in a traditional manner. Now, I do feel like there's modern traditionalism and then there's traditional traditional. It just depends on what you want. It depends on what you want. I'm going to still be sexy out here in these streets. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Makes me feel good about myself. But do I have to have it all out here on Instagram? No. Do I have to always be sexy every time? No. Do I always have to show off my body? No, I don't. There's a time and a place for everything. So if you're not carrying yourself in a traditional manner and you want a traditional man, um, I mean, if you're not, then you just, you're just, you're just not going to get that, sweetie. <laughs> you're just not. Because you're not attracting that. You know what you're attracting? A Dusty that, that wants you to go 50-50 on everything. And he'll support your career, your online career. Oh, yeah, he'll support that because you're paying for everything. You got to play by the rules, sis. I don't make up these rules. And people be getting mad. I don't make up the rules. Gosh. Oh, wait, let me go back down. And listen, let me, let me also keep it a stack. I used to be out here on Instagram. It's no secret. <laughs> So what you want to know about putting yourself out here on Instagram like that? What you want to know about it? We could talk about that too. <laughs> I got stories, girl. I got stories. What you want to know? Y'all just let me know. What you want to know? You want to you want to know about the the high earning dusties I was dealing with, the ones with the blue check marks that was actually broke because they was living above their means. That's what you want to talk about. You want to talk about how men never took me serious because they were just so focused on my outer appearance that they really didn't try to get to know me? What what you want to talk about, sis? You want to talk about DMs that you get with men who DM you just asking, hey, I want to fuck you. Oh, not, oh, I want to, I want to get to know you. I want to take you out on a nice date. What you want to know, sis? Because everyone thinks it's just glamour just because of some likes and attention. What you want to know? Because none of that, listen, none of that stuff means, it means absolutely nothing. And you know what I feel bad for? I feel bad for women that are chasing bags, right? And then they're going to get to a point where they hit the wall. They get to an age where they look up and they're like, you know what? It is lonely up top. You know, I got all this money, but no companionship. I got all this money, no real intimacy. I got all this money and this man is expecting me to provide. Do you see why I switched it up? Do you see where I you see where I was I was heading towards a ditch? That's where I was heading towards. And when I got halfway there, I'm like, oh girl, I need to change. Like this is not good. This And then I'm looking at people like, um, what is her name? Ugh. Tahari, Tahari, I she can't make no money if she not posting her body. You don't think I see that type of stuff? She can't make, she's not relevant. She ain't making no real money. She don't have no real brand if she is not posting her body. Now, this is a woman that is 40 years old, I think. 40. 
You don't think she want to be at home just relaxing? You don't think she want to eat some pizza and be bloated? You don't think she, you don't think she want that? So I see that type of stuff. Also, another, I told y'all, this woman, she hit me up, uh, I'm gonna just say her name, um, Buffy the Body, Buffy the Body, hit me up. And she contacted me and she was like, hey, I really have been following your YouTube channel since you were doing workout videos. And I'm like, what? Listen, YouTubers, you never know who's watching your stuff. So Buffy the Body back in the day, she used to do a ton of, of workout videos. That was like her content. And so she was hitting me up asking, hey, I really want you to take over my platform, my brand. I'm going to pay you a six-figure salary. This is what she was saying. She sent me over the contract. She also was going to groom me, and she was going to hire me a, a, a uh, modeling coach or something like that, some type of coach or whatever. And I really sat and thought about it because I'm like, do I want to put myself out there like that? I mean, this would definitely be a huge career booster, right? But I got to thinking, I'm like, this is Buffy the Body is like 45, I think, at the time. And single, not married. She got all this money. She got this nice brand, but no real companionship. And that's when I realized, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to put myself out there like that. And I ended up turning her down. I don't <clears throat> I ended up turning her down on her offer, but that's when I decided that I was changing everything. And that's when you guys saw me go through that whole transformation of being body positive on Instagram, putting my body out here, carrying myself in the Instagram batty way, and then transitioning into this because I felt like it was more beneficial to me. But listen, this is for me. You could be totally different and that's fine. I still respect women who do what they want to do for them because that's what they want to do. But this was for me. And as a woman, you have to sit down and you have to figure out what is more important to you. And for me, having a family, having a legacy that I could be proud of, it meant more to me. Having a legacy that my mom can talk about to her coworkers meant more to me than having a quick come up. And that's just my that's just my experience with the entire situation um i don't bash women who want to listen do what you want to do but i'm saying for me and mine it just wasn't for me i don't think buffy the body i don't think she's married you guys and she doesn't have you you're looking at a woman that is still young i'm still in my childbearing years i don't even think she has children so i i read her story i read her book when I was like in high school, I think it's called Buffy the Body, the book. I remember the cover was pink and was glittery. I read it, but I still want to have kids. That's another thing. I want to have children. We, 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 you know what I'm saying? So there were a lot of things that I was looking at. She may have a man now, but maybe that was something that she wanted earlier in her career, but she could never get it because of how people saw her. You have to understand when you put yourself out there and you sexualize yourself in that way, <sighs> You're attracting men who just want you for that. They don't want you for anything else. And then another thing is this is how the male, this is how the, the how men think. If they see you getting all this male attention, they're just going to automatically assume that they don't have a chance with you. That's a thing too. They're just automatically going to assume, oh, she would never go for me because, oh, she has all these options and all these, all this male attention. So it's just a lot. But see, I don't want a life partner. That's the thing, Shay. She had, I'm not, I'm not um, saying what she has isn't good. It's probably what she wanted. I want something different. This is why we get into these uh, disagreements with other women. Listen, what the next woman want may not be what you want. What the next woman is doing may benefit her, but it may not benefit you according to what you want. This is why I'm always telling you guys, find out what you want. Stop looking to other women, comparing yourself, your life to them. When it's, you don't know what they're going through to get what you see. You don't know what they're going through. You're just going off of what you see from the outside. And a lot of us are not sure what we want. I can admit that when I was 27 years old, I didn't know what I wanted. 
quickly figured it out though. <laughs> I quickly figured it out. Let me tell you something. A man put you through some mess, you'll quickly figure out what you want. Oh, John Lewis is his name. I'm not sure what I want. You just have to, and that's, the, and that's another thing. The more you get out here and date, the quicker you will find out what you want. You start bumping into some frogs, you keep kissing frogs after frogs after frogs after frogs, you're just gonna be like, oh my gosh, I know what I want. Okay, I'm gonna go back on the dating scene and date with intentions. So you have to get out here and date. You cannot neglect your dating life. Black women need more than a life partner. Marry me or let right. I'm I'm not going for that. But if that's what she wants, that's what she wants. I I want a family. I want a last name. I want a legacy. I want kids. We don't want the same thing. Now, if I wanted the same thing as her, then I just would have took on her her brand, her whatever. Kevin Samuels has short man syndrome. How tall is he? I just wanted to share that with y'all. It makes everything he says funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all not gonna like my my next video. I'm reacting to the girl that got engaged. Y'all not gonna like how, how y'all not gonna like it. I just checked, they're married. Oh, they're married, okay. That's good, she got married. She got married in 2015. Um, Hey, Miss Ambitious, how are you doing? I haven't seen you, in a, I haven't seen you on here in a while. Okay, let me get back to the statements here. Why do you why do you think so many men want 50/50 nowadays but get mad when they get emasculated? Because they see it's easier. Listen, uh, uh I don't know about y'all, but the type of men I deal with, they find that to be insulting. They don't like that. 50/50, they don't like that. They don't feel like a man in the relationship. They don't want a man, and this is another thing, they don't want a woman that they feel is gonna use them either for just money, but they still don't wanna be emasculated in their relationship. So of course, you gotta bring something to the table. You just can't bring your you know, your legs and your vagina, your boobs and all that, your body. Bring some substance too, but they still don't wanna be emasculated. They don't wanna do no 50-50 with you. So it just depends. And then it also depends, again, it goes back to traditionalism. Are you carrying yourself in a way that attracts a traditional man? If you're not, then you're not going to get the traditionalism that you're looking for. You're going to keep attracting these men that are non-traditional, that think 50-50 is something that you would be okay with. That's why I keep saying, if you don't want to do 50-50, you need to switch it up. You got to play the part of a traditional woman. If you don't, you're going to keep attracting men that are not traditional. You're going to keep attracting men who are more modern. You know, they're cool with you posting certain photos to Instagram. They're cool with you creating a, a fans only. They're cool with all of that because they're modern men. A traditional man is not going to go for that. So that's why I'm saying, women, you have to weigh out the pros and cons according to what you want for you and your life. And I hate it when I see women today try to force this traditionalism on every woman. Some women don't want to be traditional, and that's okay. So it just depends on what you want. If you want a traditional man, you got to carry yourself like a traditional woman. If you want a modern man, then carry yourself like a modern man, but don't, I mean, carry yourself like a modern woman, but don't get upset when he asking you to go 50-50 on some bills. <laughs> I just told y'all what the game is. Listen. I told y'all, it's, it's very simple. It's very, very simple. Carry yourself traditional. Receive traditional. Have you watched Married at First Sight? I'm still watching it. Season 12 It's only a few episodes in, but I think you should do either a live about it. I am. I'm going to be doing it. I just need to finish it. Or a video. Yeah, I'm definitely doing a video as soon as I finish. Okay, so I'm glad you told me that there's only a few episodes in because I'm thinking like, the 12th season, I'm thinking it's over with. But I'm glad you told me that it's not. But so far, I'm just like, what? You know what? I'm not even going to give y'all my opinion on that. I'm going to just wait. Y'all just going to have to wait for the video. But yeah, it's a hot mess. That's all I'm going to say. Just a hot mess. Would you date someone younger than you? Yes, I would. He got to be mature, though. Only like a year though, like a few, a year to a few months. 
but he got to be mature and he has to be able to offer me stability. If he can be mature, offer me stability. Yeah, I would date a man younger than me. The only reason why I don't date men my age or younger is because they can't offer me things that a man that is older can. And typically it comes down to mature, being more mature, being able to offer me stability. Some of these men my age can't offer me that because they're still in grind mode. They're still trying to build, you know? So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Hold on. Caesar is a hot mess. Um, I posted a video to my Instagram, so go check it out. My older patient was just telling me the same thing about femininity. Like, she also told me to go on to the sites and start figuring out what I want in a man. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm not going to tell. I know these other people be trying to tell y'all how to live y'all life. <laughs> You're looking at an Aries. We don't, we don't take, we don't, we don't take people trying to tell us what to do. We don't take that well. So I'm never going to be like that. I'm not even going to be like that with my own kids. I'm going to raise them up to be, you know, quality people, but I'm never going to force them to do something against their will because at the end of the day, it's just, you know, what's for others may not be for you. And that's just the reality of the situation. So I may not like my daughter being lesbian, but if she ends up being lesbian, that's her life. I'm a supporter and love her the best way that I can. Do I want my daughter to, to be in a traditional marriage relationship, date a man? Of course, because that's what I did. But at the end of the day, what's for her may not be what's for me and vice versa. So that's how I live my life. And that's how I treat my supporters, women that come to me for advice. We all want different things, and I respect that at the end of the day. At the core, if you are a woman, I have respect for you. At the core, I'm going to be understanding of the fact that you don't want to live the same life as me, and that's fine. So, you inspire me to start therapy. I really needed it with this trauma I experienced. I'm so happy for you, and I hope you do heal from that situation because that was one hell of a situation, and you definitely need to heal from that because that's a mess. And I hope you get what you want from it. And listen, when you put in the work, only good can come from it. Nothing bad. When you don't put in the work, only bad can come from that. So when you put in the work, you really focus on leveling up, healing, changing. Only great things can come from that. Nothing bad. When you put in the work to better yourself as a woman, only good things can come from that. Nothing bad. Not saying you're not going to deal with no BS. I'm just saying great things are still going to come to you in the middle of you still dealing with some BS because that's just life. Uh, can a man still have a desire to chase a woman even if he's taken? Listen, now I'm not about to. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. OK, 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 OK. Because this is a situation, I'm going to just put my business out here today because I don't have no other example to give you, but it's an experience that I'm like going through right now. There is a man that wanted me, right? But he, he feared me. He feared me because I required things of him that he wasn't ready to give me, right? So he's in a whole relationship fling with another woman <sighs> when he wants to be in a relationship with me. Now, the only reason why he's in relation, he's in this relationship with this other woman is because he, she doesn't require much of him. So she's just someone that she's a placeholder, just like, uh, what's her damn name? Danny Lay placeholder placeholders. Let me tell you what a placeholder is. A placeholder is a woman that holds a place in a man's life to where it only benefits him. It doesn't benefit her. That's what a placeholder is. If you didn't know, just told you what it is. So the reason why the Danny Lay situation and the Mimi situation, the reason why I kept speaking on it, I'm like, girl, this is like low key what I'm going through. I'm just not a baby mama in this situation. So he would run to Danny every time he would have a falling out with Mimi. And it was because Danny didn't require much of him, didn't require better of him. So honestly, I have to ask you, Carrie, would you want a man like that? Because I wouldn't. I would not want a man like that. You over here laying up with this other woman because you don't want to get your life together. You don't want better for yourself. How whack is that? How weak is that? So you laying up with a woman that requires less of you? Couldn't be me. But if that's what you want, listen, I'm just telling you what it is. So he could be with this other woman all because... He don't want to put in the work with you or for you. 
just depends on the situation. So yeah, he may have, listen, there are plenty of men that are in whole marriages that desire to be with a whole other woman, but he knows that he can't get her because it requires things of him that he's either not willing to do or he can't do, depending on what it is. Oh yes, it's very selfish. I wouldn't want a man like that though, because I'm just like, <sighs> Thank you. To another Aries sister, you inspire me so much. Okay, Aries gang. I even started my own business because of your advice. Oh, congratulations. I love that. Oh my gosh, we really have a lot in common. I have the same thing with a guy. Oh, but we in this energy right now too. We in, we're, we're in this energy as well. So um, there's Again, there's there's plenty of men that de will desire you while being in a whole nother relationship, but they know they can't have you because you require things of them that they're not either willing to do or they can't do or they can't give you. So they'll settle for a woman that doesn't require much of them. And that's why I'm like, whenever I be seeing these men with other women, that stuff don't bother me. That stuff do not bother me and it should not bother you. First of all, it should send a, 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 an indication to you. Oof. I dodged a bullet. <laughs> That's how I look. I'm like, oof. God, I dodged a bullet with that one. I never take that personal because I know what it is. This is why you have to get into your femininity, guys. Because once you get into your femininity, your intuition is your guidance counselor. You know that man want to be with you, but you know what it is. You know he don't want to do uh, what's required of him. Um, in order to get you so tough <laughs> I don't know tough love I don't know what to say some men will step up to the plate though some men will step up to the plate correctly too correctly some men won't they'll just settle so it just depends is it weird that I'm turned off by a man dropping the f-bomb within a few texts <sighs> I, he may not be your type so no you have every right to be like ooh, I don't really like that no I don't see nothing wrong with that at all he may not be your type and that's okay listen I want women to be picky like men are listen these men be picky as hell oh oh you gotta be in shape you gotta be pretty da -da 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 -da. all these requirements that they want to give us as women but y'all don't never want to give the same type of requirements or level of requirements that we be y'all can we, we need to give them what they give us, okay? First of all, no babies without a ring. Let's start with that. No relationships without healing your trauma. Let's start with that. Let, let's, 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 let's make a wave with that. You ain't healed, you broken, no relationship. You're not getting a commitment with me. Go to therapy, then come back and see if I'm still available because I'm not waiting on you either. <laughs> if you think I'm waiting, that's funny. So they want us to be pretty. They want us to do all that. Listen, I'm going to need you to go to therapy. I could be pretty all day if you need me to. I could be pretty all day. But I'm going to need you to go to therapy because that's just not going to work with me. You need to heal. You can't just keep allowing things to build up in your life. And then it's causing self-destruction. And then it's bleeding into a committed relationship. Who wants to deal with that? So I'm going to need you to go to therapy, sir. And then we can have a conversation. Maybe, if I'm available. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God, Instagram's cutting me off. Okay, this is the last one. This is the last one. This is the last one. Have you always been in touch with your femininity? Girl, no. I grew up a tomboy. You know, I was walking around saying, oh, my favorite thing was niggas ain't shit. And I don't need a man. I, first of all, I wanted to be a boy when I was younger because I thought being a boy was just so much easier because you didn't have to have periods and stuff. <laughs> um, so no, girl, I was in my masculine like 24-7, seven, seven days out of the week, 365 days out of the year. So no, the only time I was in my feminine was when it was that time of the month. And then the rest of the, the, rest of the time I was in my masculine. So the only time I was in my feminine was when I got my period. <laughs> So you looking at a, a, a an ex 
alpha masculine woman, honey. That's what you're looking at. That's why I got to calm it down a little bit. Then you're looking at a girl that got a lot, a lot of masculine placements in her birth natal chart too. So I got to calm it down. But I also see the benefits of being masculine too when you need to. And when it comes to being a boss, getting things done, being about your business, you, you still got to use your masculine energy. But when it comes to like being in front of a man, that all that need to go out the window because it don't benefit you. It only benefits you on the job, in the workplace, in the workforce, career, da, 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 but it don't benefit you domestically in so many different ways. And you can still use your femininity on the job too, sis, to get you some opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Some networking opportunities. It works. So let me go ahead and save this slide.